Hi everyone, thank you for joining us um, for our first webinar for this year's Give Education Day. Uh, we're going to give it a minute and just allow more participants to start joining um, and let everybody get settled. For those of you who are joining us and who are already here, we would love to know your name and what school or organization you're representing today. Um, so you can click the little chat bubble uh, and just let us know and we'll get started in a minute. Um, Alrighty, so we're going to get started. Uh, again, welcome everyone. Just a few housekeeping items to note before we totally get started. Um, but we are recording the webinar, so it'll be posted in the fundraising toolkit on the Give Education site under resources and then the fundraising toolkit tab. Um, if you do have questions during the presentation, you can click the Q&A bubble and send them over. Um, you, uh, Josh and Carrie are also joining us today, and I'll introduce them in a second, but they'll also be kind of helping funnel any of the questions that are coming through. Um, and we're excited to chat with you all today, so thank you for taking the time to join us. Uh, again, welcome. I'm Sarah. I'm a project manager with Mighty Cause. Um, we are the platform provider for Give Education, uh, and we are excited to be here with you all again this year. Um, real quick, if you're like, what the heck is Mighty Cause? Um, we are a fully functional organization fundraising suite, so organizations use Mighty Cause every day of the year to raise money for their causes. Um, we have been around since 2006, and we were actually one of the first platforms to start hosting Giving Days. So we are super excited to, again, be involved in Give Education this year. Um, we also have Carrie joining us from Alumni Nations and Josh from Central High School Foundation. So I'm going to pass it over to Carrie and Josh so they can say hello. Hi, this is Carrie. Thank you so much for attending today. We're very excited to have our best year ever for Give, Give Education and uh, thank you for joining, and please spread the word if there's anyone else that you think could benefit from this program on March 1st. We'd love to see them and help them participate. Hi, and uh, my name is Josh. I'm with the Central High School Foundation in Omaha, Nebraska, and I'm the Creative Director and Database Administrator for the Central High School Foundation. But I was looking through my notes, and I believe this is our ninth consecutive Giving Day participation of some kind. And so um, if you ever have any questions as we go through this, um, please feel free to message us or just send a message in the general chat and we'll try to get to you. Awesome. Uh, well, we're excited to have you both joining us today. There's lots of uh, just a ton of content to cover and we're gonna appreciate your insight. Um, so real quick, look at our agenda. Um, we're gonna be going over some of the basics just in general for giving days if you're brand new to this space. Um, as well as kind of the basics for Give Education. Um, and then I'm going to walk you through how to kind of customize your organization page, kind of give you a like a tutorial demo walkthrough, showing you how to register, how you can edit pages, upload logos, edit any content. Um, and it's a good little refresher if you have participated before, just to remember where to find reports and all that good stuff. Um, and then of course, at the end, we'll have a Q&A. So if you do have any questions, like I said, you can send them through the Q&A and we will get to them um, throughout the uh, webinar. Um, so what is a Giving Day? For those who are new, who maybe have not participated in Giving Days before, a Giving Day, it's an online fundraising marathon. So it's aiming to bring together, you know, people who are supporting a specific community or a cause or space um, all at the same time. So the Giving Day hosts, who in this case are Alumni Nations, they organize the event and then they rally uh, you all, your organizations or schools to help fundraise for your cause. So organizations who are participating in a Giving Day, um, they're typically provided resources, which we have on the site for you, different tools, different you know email kind of templates, all sorts of good content that's provided by our hosts to help you reach out to your supporters to solicit some donations, um, you know, engage your alumni, help secure peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers, and really, you know, put in some work 
um, and rally people around your growing network. Um, as for how Giving Days work, so as we noted, the Giving Day, it's a unique campaign. It's presented by our host, Alumni Nations. It's providing you the opportunity to capitalize on the urgency of kind of a limited time frame. So instead of, you know, trying to solicit donations throughout the year and having them kind of trickle in, this provides you a special, you know, 24 hour event. It creates urgency with your donors to help raise money for your cause. So it's a really exciting way for you to engage, you know, new sponsors. It provides you an opportunity to reach out to community partners to create, try to create these new relationships, um, as well as engage, you know, parents, um, whoever is a part of your school, your school board, PTO, to create peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers. So you can kind of extend your network um, of supporters even further. Uh, you can help spread the word about your organization or your mission. Um, and basically, the important kind of thing is that there's this limited time frame to help create that sense of urgency that donors are going to tend to respond to, um, to help you reach whatever goals you've set for yourself for this giving day. So whether that's a, you know, reaching out to a certain amount of new people or engaging new people, maybe you want to create have, you know, more people create peer to peer fundraisers for this year. Um, everyone's goals are going to be different, so that's something to think about, which we will also cover in our next webinar that's um, kind of geared towards the strategy around the Giving Day. Um, so I'm going to pass it over to Kiri to cover a little bit about Give Education. Absolutely. Thank you, Sarah. So Give Education, um, this is our third year uh, in, in practice, and we are hosted by Alumni Nations, which is an organization that helps all of you and networks or alumni or schools across the country uh, keep in touch with their alumni and help really build a community, build an engaging community that takes care of the schools that they're from. Um, the event is again gonna take place on Wednesday, March 1st, and it is a 24 hour giving day as Sarah mentioned. One of the things that I'd like to take a minute to in, encourage you is we've had a number of different participants over the years who maybe had goals such as $1,200 to raise money for uh, special teacher kits. Uh, we've had schools and parent groups and foundations uh, want to raise money for scholarships or even something as $10,000 for a playground. In all situations, the beautiful thing about this giving day is it, it's really, it's a turnkey approach for you. And we hand you the platform to get out and solicit your community, engage your community, and have some fun with it. And we really encourage you, we're you know, seven weeks out. A lot of people think that, you know, this, and I'll ask Josh to talk about this as well, that, you know, seven weeks out isn't enough time or that you need a year to do this. The reality is when it comes to these giving days, people give, you know, when they're notified, they give usually right away. So we have plenty of time. Uh, to you have plenty of time to at least even send an e-blast out to your community to say we're participating in Give Education on March 1st. Here's what our goals are. Here's what we're trying to achieve. Click here and donate. And it's really a wonderful way to empower your community to feel like they're helping and to be able to watch through the Mighty Cause website or through our website rather that you know watch the, watch the money pile up and 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 see how they're really benefiting and it's an instant it's in, in real time um so it's it's a wonderful day we really hope that you know you'll get your page set up and continue to sign up with the finances and everything so that the money can be dropped into your account we are also giving away we have a benefit uh, we have received a donation from the Comer Foundation. So we will be giving away golden tickets or hourly prizes. So by participating and raising money, when you see the money go in, you know, you might automatically or randomly be selected rather to receive a financial award as well. So there's really no downside to joining uh, and getting your profile set up today. And I am here to, my team and I are here to help you set up your profile and make sure that you see a successful Give Education Day. And it's been really rewarding to hear the testimonials from the organizations that have participated in the last few years and how beneficial it has been. And their, their response is always the same. We participated this year, we will be back next year. And so we really look forward to, this is your first step, getting you guys signed up and then seeing you all come back year after year as you continue to grow your financial goals. Uh, registration is required. 
again, very easy, I think, and Josh will talk to it. I think it's, you know, a hand 15, 20 minute setup period. And then you can obviously spend more time setting things up, but it's made very easy for you. And we even give you templates for your marketing campaigns that you can download and just fill your name in and send out. So we've tried to make this as easy as possible for you to engage your community, have fun, and really start to build that loyalty in years to come. Yeah. And I was just going to say that one of the cool things that we have since we have the mighty cause platform is that when you participate every year it will remember you from the previous year so um you know if this maybe is your second or third year participating in give education day you don't have to go back in and kind of start over from scratch everything should still be in there from when you first signed up so they really make it super easy to just re-enroll year after year um, if you want to participate and the other thing, too, that I wanted to say is that Give Education Day allows you to give more than once, right? So, like, yes, early be early giving begins in February, but we it's not uncommon, uncommon for us to see people give more than once because it's such a fun social event. Maybe they'll give early February, but then they'll also give on the day of the event. So it's just a really great way to maximize the use of some of those smaller donors who want to participate and contribute. Awesome. Um, all right, so getting started. Um, so you are interested, what's next? Uh, first things first, you're definitely gonna need to register like uh, Carrie said. Um, registration form is super easy. Um, I'll show you kind of roughly what it looks like when I switch over to the screen sharing of the actual site. Um, but to participate, you'll basically just go to the Give Education site, you'll click register. Um, and then, you know, click the register button on the actual page and it'll have you either log in um, or uh, if you're already logged in, you can just select your organization um, and then it'll prompt you with kind of a couple questions uh, and then you're basically in. And then you can start organizing on your page and getting everything set up. Super easy, very seamless. Um, and then you're gonna wanna start to plan your fundraising campaign. Uh, like Carrie said, you have plenty of time to kind of figure out your goals and start creating a strategy. There's a ton of tools in the fundraising toolkit for you to explore. Um, but a big thing is going to be promoting and promoting your campaign. Um, so I, something about the saying, you have to cast your line uh, lots of times to catch a fish. That's the same kind of idea here. You are going to want to let people know as soon as you're registered that you're involved with Give Education. Um, you know, share it on your social media, send out an email, a save the date type of thing. Um, and just keep letting them know, keep putting the date in their head. Um, so maybe send out a mailer if you if you think you can do that. Uh, and then you'll just start inviting supporters. So to be successful, you're going to definitely, you know, need some support from your community, um, whether that's creating peer to peer fundraisers, maybe through a school board, maybe some parent teacher kind of whatever your involvement, whatever, whoever is helping you, you know, try to get them to create some peer to peer fundraisers because that's going to extend the net that you have access to. So their network is going to reach even further to help you raise money uh, for your school or foundation. Um, so like I said, registration, super easy. You're going to go to the education site. You'll see uh, if you're not logged in, it'll say join us at your registration. You'll click register. Um, it'll prompt you to log in or create an account if you're brand new. Um, once you do that, you can come to, it'll redirect you to the form where you can then find your organization. Um, I was logged in, obviously you can see that I was Mighty Cause Foundation. You'll click next and then you can um, kind of just go through a couple questions uh, and then you'll be pretty much registered and ready to go. Um, uh, once you're registered as well, you can go in and you can uh, make adjustments um, to your page. You can add or remove additional administrators. Um, just something to note, if you are brand new, if you have not become an admin of your page yet, there is, um, it's usually a really quick turnaround, but Mighty Cause support staff, we always look through and we make sure anyone who is registering to um, kind of have control over an organization page or be an admin, we always make sure that they are uh, supposed to be there because there's a lot of, you know, sensitive donor information that they have access to. So just a note on that, if you log in, if you register and you're not seeing your organization in the drop down menu under your login, um, it's likely because you haven't been approved. But like I said, it's usually a quick turnaround. Um, so uh, and if you have questions, you can always reach out to support. Um, and the deadline to register is February 15th. 
Um, alrighty, so I am going to um, stop screen share real quick. And I'm going to switch over to um, I'm going to adjust my audio real quick because I hear is this better? Hey, Sarah, we got a we had a request in the chat for you to speak up just a little bit, if that's OK. Yeah, is this better? Am I louder now? Yeah, that's a no. little better. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Sometimes I'm like, am I shouting or am I not? <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. I'm going to switch over to the actual website real quick and give me one second. Uh, let's see. All right, so are you all able to see this? Um, I believe you are. So yes. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. We do see it, yes, that's correct. Yes, um, the organization okay. page. So this is kind of our demo site, and I'm gonna kind of do like a brief overview, um, get a cup of coffee, maybe a tea. Uh, you're gonna hear my voice for a, a, quite a bit longer. Um, but basically, so once you're logged into the Give Education website, um, you'll log in, you'll uh, click here, and there will be a drop down menu, and it'll show the organization that you've been approved as an administrator for. So you'll click that page, it'll bring you to your dashboard kind of overview. Um, if you, I always like to mention, if you forget your login and you can't remember how to log in, it's totally fine. You can reach out to our support team um, and we can help you remember which um, kind of emails are attached to it. Of course, we won't give you any sensitive kind of login information and we won't log in for you. Um, but sometimes, you know, different organizations have maybe an old admin or an old kind of email address attached to it that they want removed. Um, so we're happy to help you with that. Um, but, but basically, you'll click the name of your organization and it brings you to your page. Um, you automatically land in this beautiful overview section, which is actually right here. Um, and this, since it's a demo site, you're going to see this kind of tutorial pop up multiple times, but this is your overview. Um, it shows you just a bunch of, you know, different metrics that you can, um, choose. You can kind of customize this whole thing. Um, when you are registered for a give education, you'll see this little section that says your organization is registered for a give education. So you know that you're good to go. Um, if you are not registered, but maybe you've previously participated, it'll also remind you, it'll say uh, registration is open for Give Education. So just know that even if you have previously participated, you're still going to need to register this year to participate in the event. Um, so a little bit about this dashboard, this is going to be your home. Um, everything you need is on this page. So this dashboard over here, the side menu, it's going to have your uh, organization page, which we're going to go through a little bit more in depth. Um, it's going to have, you know, all the fundraising tools, any peer to peer campaigns, your matching grants you can set up, widgets, um, fundraiser templates, which are going to be helpful for you if you are trying to make things easy for peer to peer fundraisers. Um, from here, you also have just a ton of different reporting available to you. You can see all your donations. Um, any offline donations maybe you've received that you want to log just for your own kind of um, reference. Uh, retention is going to be big. If you have previously participated in Give Education as well, you can see who has previously participated, donated to your campaign in another year, and maybe they haven't donated again this year, so you'll want to create a, you know, an outreach strategy for those individuals. Um, and then, of course, disbursements. You can see uh, the checks or the EFT kind of stuff that is going out to you. Um, your checkout flow is going to be easily accessible here. You can update your donation form, your thank you page, and the receipt that the donors are um, seeing when they get their receipt from uh, Medicals. Um, and then uh, we also have just a bunch of settings that you can kind of look through. Your general settings, your organization info, the disbursement settings where you need the money to go, whether you're going to get EFT or a check. Um, of course, I also mentioned you can update any admins on your account, so if you need to, you can remove old admins that might be out of date, um, or you can, if you have access to it and you have maybe a new person who's taking charge of your campaign this year, you can add them here as well. Uh, but we're going to go through this pretty much in its entirety, um, starting with our organization page. 
So the organization page is the face of your organization for this event. Um, you, since I'm logged in, you can see what the, like an administrator can see. But if you were to hide everything on the left and toggle off edit mode, um, you would see basically this is what like the actual kind of visitors to your page, the donors, uh, your champions coming to your page to support you would see. So you can toggle on and often see what's accessible for editing, which is a lot of stuff. So um, very exciting. Something that we really pride ourselves on is just all the customization that you have available to you. Um, but it's also super easy. Uh, and of course, I mean, we always talk about how different organizations have different kind of um, capacity levels as far as how much time you have to give to a campaign um, and how many people are on your team supporting you. So maybe it's just you and all you have time for is your logo, your banner, um, and you're about. That's totally fine. It's, it's super easy to do. Um, we also have a nice suggested to-do list. You can see there's a red dot because not all items have been completed. But these are, um, you would see kind of recommended uh, like five different recommended things to do to help you have a successful campaign. So if you come here and you're like, oh my God, I don't know where to start. You can go to your to-do list and kind of start working through the suggestions. Um, so super easy right off the bat, logo, simple. It's a one-to-one, -one. you'll just upload your image. Um, it's, it's pretty much what you have on either on your like actual website or maybe on social media. Uh, follows kind of the same one-to-one -one square. You can uh, get it uploaded. And then of course your background banner image, um, whatever picture you want uh, is great. We always recommend something that's, you know, a nice horizontal uh, croppable photo and has little to no text, just because this is going to be your attention grabbing kind of section. Um, so something to think about. Uh, but you can kind of see how it works. Um, we also have a gallery of images that you can choose from if you're short on time or maybe you just can't find something that's going to look good. Uh, we have all sorts of ones that you can choose from. Um, from here, you can also choose a color overlay if you want to kind of like make things different colors. Uh, maybe you have a brand color that really works with you. This page is all about kind of creating your image so it reflects your actual, you know, brand of your organization um, or your foundation. From here, you can also select a color for your buttons. Um, very exciting because it just allows you a lot of, you know, to create a little bit more of a personal personality, I guess, for your page. Um, and like I said, stay in, in line with your brand colors. Um, from here, you can change the name of your organization. Uh, if you are going, if you go by something else, that's totally fine. You can update it here. Um, donate, of course, is going to be where people come to make an actual donation. Fundraise is where they're going to come to fundraise for you. So that means making peer to peer kind of pages and stuff like that. Um, share this organization. This is going to be your social sharing section. Um, if some, you know, if you want someone to share your page, this is the link that they'll click. Uh, you can toggle on and off your fundraise button. So if you do want to say hide your fundraise button, you can do that. Um, if I can jump in just for a second, we yeah. are actually somebody who has the fundraise button turned off just because, um, we like the the ability to, and you can, you can control who sets up a page on your behalf to fundraise, but mm -hmm. we feel like for us, keep it simple and just have this main donation page where people can go and see the thermometer of how many people have given and donated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally up to you. One of the, I mean, it's a nice perk of like hiding it. Um, or maybe, you know, on the day of the event, you just want the donate button to be the only thing people are seeing. So you can always toggle it off. Um, alrighty, so then we have our thermometer and our metrics, like Josh was saying, this is a very exciting piece of data. Uh, so you can um, hide the section, you can, why am I putting so many today? You can edit your goal, which is really nice. So maybe you have, you know, $10,000 or maybe you reach your goal, um, you know, two days before the event starts, like that's awesome and totally great. You can always update it, you know, make it 40,000 or whatever, you know, suits you. Um, you also can, when you do turn this on, you're going to want to remember to start your calculation um, on a specific date because by default it's just going to show 
um, pretty much everything. So if you were participating last year, maybe you need to go in um, and start calculating at the start of early giving this year. So if these numbers aren't reflecting properly, this is the first place you're going to want to go to check. Um, are you showing offline donations? Maybe you don't want to show offline and donations. Um, totally up to you, but then definitely check out the date. Um, moving down the page, this is your about section. This is going to be a key component of just trying to solicit donations. This is where you're going to have to tell your story. So we have, you know, this type of nice uh, editing um, for wallet bar, as we call it, uh, but you can design it to your heart's content. <laughs> There's just a lot of capability here. We've seen some really nice um, pages that people have built out. You can add photos, you can add video links. Um, the videos do have to be uploaded first to YouTube or Vimeo, but then you can paste the video URL and it'll embed it right here. Um, just a bunch of rich kind of editing capabilities. Uh, and then uh, new and very exciting is a custom tab that everyone has access to. So if you want to maybe have this be all about your school, your foundation, and then your custom back tab can be about your campaign um or maybe you know dig deeper into like what the actual funds are going to this year um so that's opened and available to you um as you scroll down we have just some more sections that you can fill out um you can add a media gallery so you can add media if you want to add photos you can also connect to a gallery so if you have an active instagram maybe you're really active on facebook um you can kind of have those posts um, those pictures and stuff showing up to keep it engaging on here. Um, and then at the very bottom, you have your organization data section. So you can, you know, you see these little pencil icons, you can update, maybe make sure that your email is correct, your website, your phone number, any kind of contacts, um, and all that good stuff. You can also add a section of featured campaigns. Um, and supporting campaigns. So say your goal this year, you know, is to really push for peer to peer fundraising. Um, you can highlight some of those or those campaign pages, um, which is exciting. And, you know, people feel seen and that's really important to let them know that like you're seeing all the hard work that they're doing for you. Uh, and it just kind of adds another level of just um, uh, like connection with people who care about your cause. Um, all right, so I'm going to kind of shift over. Um, one thing I do want to mention, if you uh, want to share your organization page, you're just going to copy and paste this URL link. Instead of it saying your giving day, uh, of course, it's going to say give education. Um, but that's the actual link that you would share if you want to direct someone to the uh, page itself. Um, and then, uh, of course, if you click uh, donate, this is your donation page. So if you ever want to include a link directly to the donate page, like in an e-newsletter or something, you would just copy and paste the URL at the top of this donate page. Um, all right, so back to this tutorial mode. Uh, all right, so we're going to kind of walk through um, the, do, 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 where are we next on my list? Um, I'm going to, since we kind of left off on how talking a little bit about social media, I'm going to go over to the settings um, and we'll go to general settings so you can find your social media um, customization section. So basically this, I mean, take a look around all of this when you have time. It's just very helpful, but your general settings is going to have just a bunch of information for you. You can change your custom URL. So if you're brand new and your URL at the top says something that it looks funky and you're like, well, we go by this, you can edit it and save it here. Um, you can have alternate search names. So if you go by an abbreviation, um, I don't know, whatever, Y2K, whatever you want, whatever you go by, um, you can add that here so people can search you and find you. Um, different tags. This is your social sharing setting. So if someone shares your organization page, you can add your logo, you can add a title, um, you can make sure, you know, the dates are current. So if you were like, hey, we're participating in Give Education 2022, you're going to want it to obviously say 2023. You can add social hashtags um, and all of that. 
Um, other items in the settings, you can look at your organization info. So this is the address that's on file, um, your website, your contact info, your email. Um, the legal name is the, I, the name that the IRS has on file. Uh, so your legal mailing address is also the address that the IRS has on file. So if you ever need to change that, you can reach out to support. Um, other items, disbursement settings is going to, obviously this is a demo account, so it doesn't have any disbursements, but this is where you would go to find all of your disbursement settings um, and to find out the specifics for what was included in each of the disbursements. Um, and then, like I said, this is where you can go to also add your admins or anybody else who is, needs access to the page. Um, and and uh, it's just an easy step. If you already have an admin, it's way easier to add someone um, you just add their first name, last name, um, and you can approve them right away versus having them request access and then go through the mighty cause side of it. So that's one thing to keep in mind as well. Um, we're going to move into fundraising tools. Um, so actually, I'm going to bounce over to check out since this is something that is probably higher priority. Um, so basically, I would say the steps for completion, go to your organization page, fill in all of this front facing information, make sure your social sharings are updated because that's going to be a big thing you're doing. Um, and then head to the checkout uh, and you're going to want to customize these sections. So um, basically, you'll start with your donation form. There's a bunch of kind of capability here. It's very exciting, just like the kind of about page. But you can toggle on and off edit mode and see what's editable and not editable. You can copy your direct donate link like I was showing you if you want to include it in any emails for people to directly click for a call to action. Um, but each of these areas, this is very exciting because you can kind of list out suggested donations for gifts uh, and what each of those gift amounts do. So obviously, you know, you're probably not having dog food, but whatever, you know, $50 or $100 does for your organization, attach the value and what it does. This is going to be really key for donors who maybe haven't decided how much to give, don't know what amounts are required to do what. They want to support your organization, but they're not completely sure, like, how much is needed to do certain things. Um, so we always recommend, you know, between four and six um kind of suggested donation amounts so it's not too overwhelming for donors um but it gives them a good idea of like what it takes to do something so they can select one of these or they can just type in an amount so if they're like you know i want to be able to transport two rescue dogs i'm going to give 200 dollars. they can do that um from here you can also add like different sections um obviously there's a bunch of questions here but you can kind of see the whole checkout flow uh, and you are also able to add one additional question to your checkout form. So whatever you know information you feel like you need to collect, Mighty Cause already collects donor addresses. Um, so if you uh, and their emails. So if you need to, you know, if you're an organization that likes to call donors, maybe you want to add a question. What is your phone number? Um, or maybe you have a newsletter and you would like to know if you know by making their gift, would they also like to sign up for your e-newsletter? Um, so you can add a question like that. There's just a lot of kind of flexibility in here and a lot of opportunity to make it very custom to your organization. Um, from your checkout section, you can also edit your thank you page. Your thank you page is what is going to pop up after a donor makes a gift to your organization. So this is also a great place to add photos, make it a, you know very personalized for you. Um, of course, you know, the uh, thank you and then letting them know they're appreciated um, you can even add like a call to action maybe you want them to direct them to your instagram or direct them to a newsletter or a blog whatever you think that would be good um, but definitely fill this out because they're going to see it after they make their gift um, and then their donation receipt um, mighty cause automatically is sending receipts um, so it'll say, you know, give education, thank you for donating to give education, your support, you know, is wonderful and appreciated, here's your receipt, and then below it, it'll say who they gave to, it'll have your organization information, um, but they'll also get to see a little tiny message from you, so I recommend definitely taking a second and just, you know, writing a couple lines of 
Thank you again. It doesn't hurt to just continue thanking um, your supporters. It'll keep them coming back. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, I don't think there's any questions yet. So I'm just gonna keep going. I tend to talk quickly, so I'm gonna take a drink of tea. <laughs> Um, Alrighty, so we went over the thank you page, the donation receipts. Um, I'm going to touch on your reports. Uh, of course, this is where you can find all of your donor information data. So if you participated last year, you're going to have access to all of those gifts. If you, if this is your first year participating, this is where you're going to find all of the donation information and the ability to download a complete um, donation report. You can filter uh, your report. Um, you can filter by campaign type, so by giving event, and then you can choose, um, it'll say Give Education Day 2022 or Give Education Day 2023. Um, automatically, it's going to default to the last 30 days, so you can select a custom date range. Maybe you just want to see the month or the year to date, you can do that. Um, so you'll have access to all of this. I'm going to say all, so you can kind of see. Uh, Oh, right, demo account, no <laughs> donations. But you could download it. Uh, and when you download it, you'll see any additional questions, like maybe you asked about that phone number in the checkout, you'll be able to see a column that has that question so that you can start making your thank you calls. Um, you can also add offline gifts here. So say you, you know, received a check and you wanna log it just for your personal kind of tally on how well you're doing. Um, you can add that here as well. It's super simple. Just ask a couple questions. And this is all just for reporting purposes. Um, so that's all just kind of internal tracking. Um, let's see what else is here. Uh, retention report is going to be really uh, kind of a key thing to work into your um, campaign strategy. So you can select the event last year or maybe the year before. Um, and you can pull the data for the donors, and then it also lets you know how many donors were retained. So this, in this case, you know, there was 11 donors, six of them gave again. Uh, you're going to want to then download that data and try and have a, a kind of a communication plan in place to try to recapture those donors who maybe gave last year but haven't given this year. So at some point during the 24 hours, uh, give education day, pull up your retention report, take a look. Uh, and then send out an email to those those supporters. Um, and then, of course, your disbursements, like I was showing you, you have access to all that at the end of the event. Um, I believe this is everything that I really wanted to show. Uh, but if there's any questions, I'm going to switch it back over to the slide deck real quick. Um, Carrie, can you think of anything on here that you wanted to see or maybe that I didn't touch on enough? Absolutely. One of the things that I always had wondered about prior to participating in a give, uh, a giving day, and perhaps Josh can speak to this, is I know we have advanced giving that starts in February and then we have March 1st. Josh, can you offer some best practices that Central High School has seen? Like, do I promote uh, the, the advanced giving uh, or do we just build anticipation? Can you kind of give us your suggestions on what works and, and what you've seen? Yeah, so I'd say it's definitely a mixture of both, but the majority of our gifts do usually come on the day of the event. Um, Sarah briefly touched on it, but there is a way to add offline gifts into the platform. And we actually take advantage of that a lot because we have a lot of gifts that come in the mail, you know, a check or cash. And what's great about that is that people can still participate, even if they maybe aren't tech savvy or have access to a computer on the day of the event. And so um, that money is added in to our total and it's added to that thermometer on our organization page. So to circle back, I would say that we try to encourage people to donate whenever they can, um, but the majority of our gifts usually come maybe the night of, or the night before, or the day of the event. Yeah. Yeah, I would uh, kind of just, yeah, to piggyback, um, it's really important to just keep casting, you know, your line. So always, always try to, you know, let everyone know you're participating. Um, 
and let them know the earliest they can start giving so that you know it counts towards your campaign um and i mean some people like to just give as early as they can because it's on the top of their mind uh so just always encouraging them and then of course you know the excitement of the 24 hours is really important um so because that's when you're going to be doing you know the bulk of your social media um like you know the big public thank yous to donors if that's something that you've worked in like maybe you have a canva template where you're like thanks to our donor if they want to be recognized um to kind of just build all of the excitement all at once and seeing that excitement is going to encourage other people to also give and if I could say something else too, yeah. um, if you can make this as simple or as complex as you want, I mean, just signing up is honestly the easiest, best first step that you can take if you haven't already signed up for this. Um, and just kind of fill out your profile, like the, the parts that Sarah was mentioning. But if you want to kind of take it to that next level, if you have a website or if you have social media, What's great is that you can start promoting this at any time and kind of get it on the calendar for people so that they're aware that this day of giving is coming up. And so an example for us is that we try to ask our teachers and our students and people that we impact for quotes about what the Central High School Foundation means to them. And that's kind of the foundation of what we use when we um, are promoting the giving day on our social media and website. We'll kind of have a picture and a quote and it's just an impactful way to let people know that their donation makes a difference. Um, the other thing too that we didn't really mention today is that we, again, if you wanna kind of go above and beyond, if you will, we always try to solicit a larger donor for a matching gift. And the Give Education platform does have the ability to add in a matching gift information to your profile. And what's really cool about that is that the donation is added in real time or doubled in real time. So if I gave a $10 donation on that thermometer on your page, it will add $20 to it. So again, it's just, it's a fun social way to encourage small donations to come in. Um, but there's different levels to this is what I'm getting at. And the best thing you can do is just to sign up and get started if you haven't already. Yeah, that's a very good point. Um, I didn't touch too much on all of the fundraising kind of tools that we have available. We'll cover more of that in the second webinar. Um, but we have just a, a bunch of uh, like different ways, like Josh was saying, just to kind of elevate your campaign. Uh, I don't want to overwhelm anyone with, with this first type of introduction, but there's just so much good strategy behind using matching grants. So that's a good point. Um, resources and support. Um, so just so you all have kind of, you know, the tools, I'm sure you've seen the fundraising toolkit, but this is on uh, the Give Education site under resources drop down menu, you'll find the fundraising toolkit, and it has all of, you know, a quick snapshot of your key important dates, it's where a lot of you probably registered for the webinar, you can also register all about our strategy webinar, which will talk more in depth about matching grants and just different strategies and communication strategies to work with your supporters. Um, it also Earlier, we were talking about how it has just a ton of like tips and tutorials and support links. Um, we have six steps for fundraising success to kind of make it easy for you. Uh, you can kind of start working through your list. Um, and again, depending on your kind of capacity level, maybe you don't have time to do uh, matching grants, but maybe you want to focus on peer to peer fundraising. So we have all different guides for you based on what you are able to do this year. Um, and then, of course, sign up for the second webinar. It's happening February 1st. That is also in the toolkit. Um, and if you just need, you know, a bit more information, maybe you are interested in participating in Give Education, uh, but you just, you know, want to read more about it, check out the FAQs. It's filled with, you know, donor facts um, and organization kind of facts as well. Um, and then last but not least, we have our support for Give Education Day. So Alumni Nations and Mighty Cause, we're both here for you um, to help you kind of get, you know, started on campaign and get through it. Uh, we have all sorts of suggestions for you. We have a full support library. We have also, I took a little screenshot of this resource center. It's filled with blog posts. We have a bunch of eBooks that you can download, um, pre-recorded kind of on-demand webinars. So if there's something in, like specifically you wanna really focus or dive deeper on, I know we have a webinar that's like all about matching grants. Um, so you can check those out as well. 
Uh, and then, of course, our support team, support at MightyCause.com is available to you Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 Eastern. Um, and of course, you can call as well. So I think that's everything that I have. Um, if anyone has questions, you can hit that Q&A, um, or if there's any kind of final thoughts for this webinar, Carrie and Josh, you're welcome to take it away. Sure, I would just say that um, one of the cool things that I would encourage you to do, that anybody can do really, even though every organization is separate and has their own causes that they're raising money for, um, you have the ability to go see what other organizations are putting on their profile. And so just kind of go check out and see what other people are doing. Um, you know, there's a power in seeing what others are doing and how they're successful. And, you know, everybody can champion their own cause in their own way, but there's a lot of really great resources out there for you to get good ideas about what you can bring to your page. Yeah, that's a really good suggestion, actually. Um, let's see. Um, a cheat sheet for recommended dimensions for images. Um, the logo and the banner, uh, we were, are built for desktop and mobile, so we don't have like like um, exact dimensions, but they work in ratios. So it's like a one to one ratio, and I think the banner is like three to one. Um, so it'll it'll resize based on screen size. So I would just, yeah, work um, in a ratio. So if you, Canva is a free resource. So if you haven't used Canva before, you can just create an account um, and you can type in like the ratio that you wanna work with and they'll create like a template for you. And then you can start building that out or you can drop in an image and that will resize it for you. Any other questions? Um, I don't see them. So uh, again, thank you all for you know spending a little bit of your afternoon with us. We really appreciate it. We're really excited for Give Education Day this year. Um, I'm really looking forward to the next webinar where we're gonna just really kind of dig deeper on just different strategy. And I know Josh, since you've been doing this for a while, you'll have a lot of uh, good you know feedback and knowledge to share with everyone. So make sure you sign up for that, and we'll see you all then. Alrighty, thanks everyone. Bye.